All right, hello. How are you doing? Here it's morning. Whatever time it is where you are, good. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna do some pretty intense mobility today. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, and I'll show you how to get very strong and flexible and all that. So first I'm gonna warm up with some backwards walking, backwards running, just for the knees till I get to the desired training location. The backwards running is good for getting blood through the knees while putting a different kind of stress onto them that they normally wouldn't get. So I'm gonna take you through a quick um, all around kind of mobility routine. Uh, pretty intense, so hold on to your butts. While you uh, hopefully learn um, how to get mobile and articulate most of your joints, I'm gonna talk about how to, uh, mainly about uh, one point from a 17th century uh, philosopher, Pascal, French philosopher. He said that all of our unhappiness comes from an inability for us to sit alone in our room. So I'll just let you ruminate on that for a second. All your unhappiness comes from inability to sit alone in your room. Now unhappiness in an, unathle in a, in an athletic, uh, uh, athletic context uh, can result in lower stress, better recovery, and you know overall happiness might even be more important than uh, athletic performance. But it really comes down to that you know you want to be in your own. Uh, you, you you venture outside of your quote room um, to seek to seek out some experiences, and those experiences might not be what you think they are. They might end up leaving you hurt. And if you want to stay in a positive, positive uh, emotional state, you want to be content with very little. Not saying you can't strive for the experiences, but they aren't always guaranteed. So what I think when he means by staying in your room I mean, just being content with being able to be alive, being able to have food and shelter. It, it also shows to be that you can be your own, you can be an enemy to yourself sometimes. You need to, if you're not able to be alone in a room, you're not able to be patient. And you might not give things consideration that they need to be, you might not listen to people, you'll try to uh, make acquaintances, make acquaintances, make friends without actually trying to help them. And you'll need to be a friend to yourself. So be able to be content, which will lead to patience, and that patience will lead to ho hopefully better decisions, more wisdom. And uh, practicing to be happier with less. A, uh, that's a very Western philosophy, but um, even in the East, there are a lot of uh, monks who spend a lot of time uh, removing themselves from society, maybe meditating for multiple hours a day, giving up earthly possessions. And sitting alone in a room is, uh, I think, the Western equivalent of uh, giving up the earthly possessions and being content with yourself. I mean, you can still have possessions, uh, very Western to be materialistic. So I got the six pound ankle weights. Each one of these is six pounds. And I'm going to use it to get my handstand technique refined and to work on some leg mobility. So let's get into it. So hopefully uh, you don't have to give up, renounce all worldly possessions. But you do have to be content within yourself, be a, a more patient friend to yourself and to others. So hopefully that can help you stay more relaxed.
stay in a more anabolic state and be more content while living in, you know, arguably one of the best times in history. So I'll let you, um, that was enough about philosophy for now. And the ankle weights, I, I kind of just found them not too long ago. And I think this will help with refining handstand technique and opening up, uh, or not opening up, but strengthening uh, the hips in these kind of exercises. So if you made it this far, uh, there's still some hip mobility here. And I'll let you watch that, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, share. Uh, let me know in the comments anything else you'd like to see or like me, talk, like me to talk about, and I will try to oblige. So thank you for watching, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.